and now you're over here. <laughs> I have a new webcam today and I look really bright, super duper bright. So I guess it's better than the darkness that my regular camera was, but now I have to remember to look here and not at my computer. <laughs> Hopefully I can do that. Well, today we're gonna to be working on our back and our abs. So all of those wonderful things. Um, we're gonna be on our hands and knees for a little bit. So we're gonna start on our hands and knees. I have a knee pad on because I smashed my knee recently. So I've got some extra protection. So if you also um, need some extra protection on your knees, feel free to go grab some cushioning or something like that. We won't be on our knees for too long. We'll be on our belly. Um, lots of the things that we do on our belly can be modified against the wall. And I'll remind you when we get there and um, we'll be ending on our back and doing our wonderful ab exercises. So um, as always, pay attention to your body. If your body is feeling cranky this morning, um, just do as much as you can. Don't try to push yourself through anything. Um, it's active flexibility, but some passive stretches, you never wanna like push yourself through any stretches. Um, that's not the way to go. You always wanna make sure you are able to breathe and we'll have a good time. If I say like, let's do 10 reps of something and you know that you cannot do 10 reps, just do as many as you can. You can go slower. Um, this class is for you. And um, yeah, it is now 10. <laughs> All right, so we'll make our way to our hands and knees position. Ooh. Finding your knees underneath your hips and your palms right underneath your shoulders. And then take two deep breaths, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just feeling yourself in the shape. Maybe you imagine yourself strong like a table. And then we're going to move our chin forward and back. That's all we're going to do. Try not to bring your chin like into your chest here. You're going to just directly bring it down like you're going to touch your nose to the mat and then bringing it back not moving anything else. Maybe you start to engage your abs a little bit though. And then we're gonna stop with the chin back and then glide your chin to the shoulder and the other shoulder. So chin is up and back and you're just gliding it right and left, gentle, breathe in. And then stopping here in the center, keep the chin back. We're gonna drop our chest down, squeezing your scapula behind you, and then push the floor away. So scapular push-ups, down and up. But keep your head in that alignment and breathe. And then start to draw circles with your shoulders forward and back. Again, try to keep your head in that alignment. You're not looking up, you're not looking down, you're looking right at your mat. Reverse your shoulder circles. And then stepping here. Let's do our regular cat and cow. So drop your belly down, stretch your tailbone up, press your chest forward, stretch your shoulders away from your ears, inhale. And then exhale, belly button is fine, arching and rounding up, chin close into your chest, push the floor away. Inhale back into your cow pose and take big, long, deep breaths. Filling your chest up full of air, pulling the shoulders away. Exhale, let it all go. Really pulling your belly button deeper toward your spine with every exhale. Notice if you're shifting your weight like forward or backward. I tend to go backwards, so I gotta really try to keep that center. Do one more time, cat and cow. Once all the air is gone in that cat pose, come back to your neutral spine, bring your toes together, sink your hips onto your heels and relax in your child's pose for two deep breaths.
Use your next inhale to roll up one vertebrae at a time, coming to your knees, bringing your head up last. We're gonna come all the way up onto our knees. Make sure your knees are again underneath your hips. Tuck your toes underneath. Eh. <laughs> that one didn't wanna go. And then squeeze low butt here. Pull your belly button deep toward your spine and then clasp your fists together and circle your wrists all the way around and just breathe. And then reverse your wrists. Keep squeezing your butt, pulling your belly button deeper toward your spine. And then stopping here, shake it out. We're gonna place our hands back onto the floor. Keep your toes tucked under, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, push your hips up into the sky, downward dog, and then start to lift and lower your heels one at a time. Keep your arms like glued beside your head and push the floor away with your palms and your fingertips at the same time. Also breathe. <laughs> All right, let's lift and lower both at the same time. So try to keep your knees straight. It's okay if they're bent a little bit. Just try to keep lifting your hips up to the sky, pushing the floor away, active with your arms and your legs. And then stopping here, find a stillness in your downward dog and take two deep breaths. And then soften your knees, place them onto the floor, place the toes together, sink your hips onto your heels and relax in your child's pose. Two deep breaths. Use an exhale to push yourself back to your hands and knees. <laughs> and then find your knees again underneath your hips, palms underneath your shoulders. This time we're gonna draw little tiny circles. So rotating around your wrists and your fingers, pushing down into the floor just a little bit, trying to keep your arms straight. Breathe. And then reverse your circle. All right, and then stopping here, we're gonna extend the right leg back, straight leg, pointed toe. Don't lift your hip, keep your two hips in line. Start to do a left arm, I'm gonna go forward because I'm in the wall. Left arm goes forward, right beside your ear. Take a deep breath in, stretch the limbs out even further, like someone's pulling your toes and your fingertips to the side walls. And then on your exhale, float everything back down without moving any part of your body. And then inhale, right arm, left leg, reach. And then exhale, float everything back down. Keep going right and left at your own speed. So this is opposite arm, opposite leg. If you're doing the same arm, same leg, it's very, very hard, but possible. <laughs> On your exhale, maybe you feel your belly button pulling deep toward your spine as you pull the limbs back. In. Do one more time, right and left. And then we're going to come back to our child's pose. So toes together, hips onto the heels, relax. Arms outstretched front, forehead onto the floor. Two deep breaths. All right, let's roll up through our spine. Keep your hips onto your heels again. Chin into your chest, roll it up. Back to the knees we go, and then all the way up. Knees again underneath your hips, parallel feet behind you. Tuck your toes under. This one doesn't want to go. Do it. <laughs> and then squeeze low butt, belly button to spine. Interlace your fingers and we'll make that wave. Stretching out our fingers just a little bit so we can go back to our hands and knees. And reverse your wave. And then shake out your wave. 
Keep your toes tucked under. We're gonna place the palms back onto the floor right underneath the shoulders. Fingers spread wide. And then we're gonna hover the knees up just a little bit. <laughs> All right, we're going to stretch your right leg back with a straight leg flex toe, flex foot, and take a deep breath. Set it down without moving the rest of your body. And then left leg, kick it out, straight leg, flex foot, deep breath. Set it back down. And then we're gonna try our right arm. Here we go. Give it a try, deep breath. Set it down, left arm's turn. Woo. Deep breath. Set it down, and then put your knees onto the floor. Tuck the toes, rest. Toes together, take your child's pose. Rest, ha, <sighs> two deep breaths. Use an exhale to push yourself back to hands and knees. All right, we're gonna do our bound out position, but if you're not feeling bound out position, you could totally stay in the first part of this. But it's a balance, so make sure that you have a strong tabletop position. You're stacked underneath your joints, your shins are pressing down into the floor, you've got pointed toes back there. Engage your abs. So engage the abs doesn't mean plop or plop. It means find that neutral and make it strong, like you're wrapping your rib cage in, wrapping everything in. And then extend your right leg back, straight leg, pointed toe. Again, don't lift that hip, keep your two hips in line, belly button is pulled deep toward your spine. Left arm reaches forward by the ear, top of the head reaches where your fingertips are pointing. Take your deep breaths here. On your exhale, pull your belly button even deeper toward your spine. And you can either stay here and continue this hold or bend your back knee. Reach around with your hand and grab onto your foot. If you've got your foot, perhaps you can walk it down to your ankle or maybe your shin. <laughs> Once you've got your desired grab, you're gonna kick your leg back behind you, trying to kick it straight. Arm is just there for the ride. Same time, whew, stretch your chest forward, look up and breathe. Two deep breaths, press down to go up. When you're done, float everything back down. Everyone comes back to hands and knees. Bring your toes together. Sink your hips onto your heels and relax in that child's pose. Two deep breaths. All right, exhale back into your hands and knees position. And we'll do the other side. So find your tabletop position, engage abs, left legs turn, send it back, straight leg pointed toe, don't lift that hip. Right arm reaches forward by the ear. Top of the head reaches where your fingertips are pointing. You are strong, take a deep breath. You can either stay here and breathe or bend your back knee, reach around, grab onto your foot, maybe your ankle, maybe your shin. And once you've got it, squeeze your butt, kick your leg back, try to straighten it behind you. Same time, stretch your chest forward, look up, breathe, two deep breaths, pressing down to go up. And then coming all the way back down. Woo, I saw my foot. Bring your toes together, sink your hips onto your heels. And you can shift yourself right and left in your child's pose if that feels good. Or you can just stay motionless. <laughs> but let it go. All right, then use your next exhale to push yourself back to your hands and knees one last time. Excellent. All right, bring your knees and your feet close together. We're going to do a puppy dog pose. So. Fingers are spread wide. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, belly down. Tailbone reaches up. Chest presses through your arms in front. Shoulders try to reach back behind you. Chin is long up to the sky. Keep this U shape with your body and start to walk your arms out one at a time, right out in front of your shoulders. Maybe your chest touches the floor, maybe your chin touches the floor, but keep your tailbone reaching up to the sky. 
Wherever you are, stay for three breaths. When you're done with those three breaths, you're gonna slowly yourself down to your belly. Flop. <laughs> and then when you get there, rest your forehead on the back of your palms and take two deep breaths. If you do not like being on your belly, you can totally go against the wall right now and continue the rest of the class in your parallel position facing the wall. All right. Glue your legs together on the, if you're on the floor, like a mermaid tail, and then glue them to the floor. If you're against the wall, they are parallel. We're gonna lift our upper body up in four different increments. So if you're on the wall, you can totally put your arms right where we're putting them, right underneath our shoulders. And you're gonna push yourself up just a little bit, chest and chin off the floor, and then remove your hands and float and breathe for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Palms pressed down, lift chest and chin up a little bit higher. So now squeezing your glutes, no hands for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Palms pressed down, lift chest and chin up a little bit higher. Squeeze your back muscles, no hands for eight, seven, look up, six, five, four, three, two, one, palms pressed down. This is our last increment. Ugh. Will I stay? Who knows? No hands for eight, seven, six, five, maybe higher. Legs together. Look up. Inhale higher. Exhale, float it down. Whew. It's so hard to talk during that. Uh, that is such a good stretch, though. Relax your forehead on the back of your palms. Shake your hips right and left and breathe. All right, this next one's for our middle and upper back. You're gonna have your fingertips lightly behind your ears. Keep your elbows out wide. Imagine there's a marble right here and you wanna push it away with your nose <laughs> and then it keeps coming back every time you lower down. So it's gonna be up like this. Legs stay glued together, stuck to the floor. Squeeze your butt. Inhale, look up, push the marble away. Exhale, you come down. And there's eight of them. So go at your own speed up to eight. Use your breath. So reaching your chest and chin up to the sky. Elbows out, legs together. Inhale, float it up. Exhale, float it down. And don't go faster than this. Use your breath. You don't want to hyperventilate. Remember where your eyes are going, your head's going to go. So look toward your feet. Where are they? <laughs> One day we'll see them. Squeeze your back muscles together. It's so hard to talk. <laughs> I got two more. Last one. Woo! Excellent. Let's relax. Forehead rests. Back of the palms. Take your two deep breaths. All right, this next one's a two-parter with your breath. The marble is still there. It's still rolling in and out. You gotta push it with your nose. But this time, legs are still glued together, mermaid tail. Arms are like airplane wings. You scoot over. You're gonna go <laughs> up, inhale. Inhale more, like you're gonna clap the back of your palms together. And then rolling it down. One, <laughs> not one vertebrae, but like sequentially down through the front side of your body. So it's Inhale, inhale, exhale. All right, we have eight of these, so let's get to it. <laughs> Here we go. One. The whole time you're squeezing your legs together, squeezing your glutes, trying to look up to the sky, squeezing your back muscles. Palms are out. You're trying to reach the back of the palms together. Whew. Four more. <laughs> I'm an airplane. Uh, 
Maybe next one I'll fly away. Two more. Woo, last one. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was amazing. Let's rest. Take two deep breaths. All right, we have one more here on our belly. We're gonna stay and hold. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. You have that mermaid tail again. Legs are glued together. This time you're gonna interlace your fingers behind your back. You're not gonna go up like this. You're gonna go down your back like this. So squeezing your back muscles together. Again, that marble is there. Here we go. We're gonna push it away on our inhale. Inhale, push it away. Lifting up, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Look up and stay and breathe for eight. Seven, squeeze your butt. Six. Five, maybe higher. Four, three, two, higher still. <laughs> Lower it down. All right, that's enough. Let's relax. Take a deep breath. <laughs> All right, we have to somehow get back to our child's pose. So let's go through our puppy dog pose. Bring your palms right beside your face. Chin goes back out onto your mat. Elbows are out active. You're gonna slither your upper body up just a little bit, or back, so you can lift your tailbone up. And then try to continue that slither, keeping your chest and chin connected to the floor as much as you can. Back to your child's pose. Take your time, there's no rush. Once you get to your child's pose, relax. You can rock your hips right and left. Ooh, shake that out. You can rock your head right and left. And then back to our knees we go, roll up on an inhale. <sighs> all right, we worked all of these muscles. It's time to work these. <laughs> so let's find our seated position. Make sure your legs and knees are hip distance. Feet are hip distance. I guess I can take this off now. And that your feet are flat onto the floor. Feet can be a little bit closer, but not too close. And then clasp your fists together, hold them close without doing one of these with the shoulders. Tilt your seat back, chest up, chin up, and then twist right and left with breath for eight. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Four, relax your shoulders. Use your breath, watch your knees, make sure they're not going up to the side. Last one, whew, excellent. And then stop here, take a rest, deep breath. All right, now we're gonna roll down through our spine, one vertebrae at a time, as if you were, um, had like a pearl necklace and you were going and That is you, so don't crash. We're gonna have our arms out like a zombie in line with our shoulders, knees, feet, in line with our hips. Take your deep breath in, maybe lengthen your spine, top of the head reaches toward the ceiling. And then exhale, curve your spine, dropping your chin into your chest and pulling your belly button deep toward your spine to lower yourself down for eight, seven, six, look at your belly button, five, four, make adjustments, three, two, one, ding. And then bring your arms, We'll bring it by our side for a moment and then bring your legs to a tabletop position. And then take a deep breath in. On your exhale, pull your belly button deep toward your spine so your whole back is flat onto the floor. And then one at a time, tap the knee or the toe down toward the floor. And just breathe. Don't move the rest of your body. Feel your abs strong as if someone has placed a weighted blanket over your torso and your legs are just moving. And one more time, right and left. And then stop with your legs in that tape top position and bring your fingertips lightly behind your head. Elbows stay out wide, stretch your chest to the sky, up and down for eight, seven, watch your knees, six, five, four, inhale, exhale. Two, last one, stay up, chin into your chest, reach toward your feet and pulse for eight, seven, shoulders relax, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, and then stay up. Pull your right knee into your chest. Take a deep breath and pull it closer. Reach the left leg away. Exhale, switch your legs. Inhale, pull it closer, stretch it away. Exhale, switch your legs. Keep going right and left. If you are tired, you can do one of these, but try to stay up. If you're feeling really good, you can stretch the legs straight, both legs straight, deep breaths. One more time, right and left, whatever you've got. Ooh, and then once you're done, fold the knees into your chest, relax your head onto the floor, rock your head right and left, breathe. And then keep your knees together, feet together. Bring your arms out like airplane wings with your palms down. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, allow your knees to fall to the right, but don't let them touch the floor. Leave your shoulders on the floor. Another max. Inhale them back to center. And then exhale them to the left. Go slow. Use your breath. Exhaling as you fall to the side. Inhale to pull it back in. One more time, right and left. Once your knees come back to center, keep them there. Bring your hands again behind your head. Keep your head and your elbows glued to the floor. This time we're bringing our knees to nose in a reverse crunch. So use your muscles and not momentum. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, pull your belly button deep toward your spine and try to bring your knees to your nose for eight. Inhale. Exhale. Don't lift your head. Keep going. Four. Three. Whoo. Two. These are low abs. Last one. And then lower it down. Place one hand on either knee. Stir your knees out and around and breathe. Reverse your circles. Whew. And then stopping here, let's pull the knees tight into our chest. Take two deep breaths. All right, and then back to our tabletop, we go with our legs. So legs are bent 90 degrees. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, pull your belly button again deep toward your spine. Place your palms onto your legs. Keep your left hand glued to this left knee. Inhale, float the right arm, right leg away. And then exhale, belly button to spine, pull it all back. And then again, inhale. Exhale, belly button to spine. Two more on the right. Last one. Careful that your knees don't float closer to your chest. Let's do left, inhale. Exhale. Don't be scared to be really loud with your breathing. <laughs> I find it really helps me. I can really feel what's going on in my body. All the muscles are working on that exhale. Last one. Whew. Excellent. Pull your knees into your chest. Rock yourself right and left and breathe. Don't roll over. <laughs> All right, then stop here. We're gonna keep our right knee bent, allow your left leg to fall down flat onto the mat. If it doesn't flatten, you're gonna flex that foot and charge the heel into the floor. Clasp your fingers two inches below your right knee, and then pull your right knee into your right armpit, and then back toward the midline so you're not like rolling over. 
Try to flatten your shoulders onto the floor. And then as you pull your right knee close, stretch your left leg away and take two deep breaths. And then place your left hand on the outside of your right knee. Bring your right arm up to the side and then cross your right leg to the left side of your body for a spinal twist. Your hip can come off the floor, but leave your shoulders on the floor. And then turn your head all the way to the right, maybe finding your right ear onto the floor. And then take two more deep breaths, gently coaxing that knee to the floor with your palm. Maybe you turn your head a little bit more. And then use your next exhale to roll yourself onto your back again. This time pulling both knees really, really tight into your chest. If you can, grab onto your elbows. Cinch your legs close. Flatten your whole back onto the floor. Shoulders flat. Compress the hips. Take a deep breath. All right, right leg stays, or sorry, left leg stays bent. Right leg charges down to the floor. If you cannot straighten it, just like you're stabbing your heel down into the floor. Interlace your fingers two inches below the left knee. Pull the left knee into your left armpit and then back toward the midline, avoiding your ribcage. Try to flatten your shoulders onto the floor and take your two deep breaths, pulling this left knee close as you stretch your right leg away. All right, left side spinal twist, right hand on the outside of that left knee, left arm out to the side, cross your left leg to the right, aiming that knee to touch the floor, and then turn your head all the way to the left, and take your two deep breaths. And maybe you imagine your body wringing itself out after all that work we did, lots of hard work today. And then finally, use your next exhale to lower yourself completely flat onto your back, allowing your arms and legs to fall wherever you like. Close your eyes. Take about four to six really deep breaths and breathing from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes, just thanking your body for all the work you just did. In particular, we can thank the muscles of our back, and the muscles of our front. <laughs> and then you can continue just laying here enjoying this rest or if you're ready to get up, let's glue those legs together, engage your leg muscles, flexing your feet, opening your eyes, bring your arms up by your ears, stretch the fingertips up overhead, take your deep breath in, exhale giant sit up. <laughs> Excellent work. And that's all I have for you today for our back and abs class. I hope your back and abs feel really, really good. Um, I got pretty sweaty at one point. I hope you did too. It's good to have a little bit of cardiovascular exercise during the day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the webcam. I hope it wasn't like, I found that I like the focus. If I move, it's like, so um, feel free to give me some feedback about this webcam. I think I'm going to put it there so I'm not always like, <laughs>